Uh, and that's it. I spent all my pennies. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Alright, Tifa? Tifa. Um, okay, what's this? Increases weapon ability damage by 3%. Slightly increases MP regeneration. I want that, so I need this first, I guess. Oh, and I don't have enough now. Boo. Okay, well, that's that done, I guess. Tempest. Oh, I don't use Tempest. Yeah, it looks like, I didn't realize, it looks like um, Fleeting uh, fleeting Familiar is just kind of like there. It just seemed to happen. Like when she was, when I was auto attacking before, I saw the little like um, butterfly thing flying out. So I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if it's just a thing that's built into the kit because on 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 remake it was a um it was an ability to summon up the um the the, the familiar so increases hp recovery by 10% when healing party members you see this is what would make Aerith obviously a, a top tier healer is stuff like this because i mean you don't see any of this stuff in Tifa's kit at all uh, you know so i don't know I mean, I think Tifa still does a great job. I think Aerith does a great job as a mage in general, so I don't think it really matters. Increases the duration of inflicted detrimental effects by 10%. Hmm. Increases synergy skill and synergy ability damage by 5%. Tempest we don't use, we don't really care about. HP recovery, and again, don't really care too much. I guess this detrimental effects for when we, we use those when for when we use bio, I guess. Increases damage dealt by MP consuming attacks by 10% when at max MP. Hmm. Not not massive, but okay. So what how big these books can get? Do they go all the way up to here? There seems to be like a limit here, like a wall here. So I guess that might be the case. Later. Bear. I wish I could live in a bookstore. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I think we're done. Done done. We've done all the We did all of the um Golden Saucer except for that one last fight with those three dragons and the the, the other guys, but forget that for now. We'll come back and do that later. Um Uh, I guess that's it, right? I guess we just we just kind of come down here to the reactor. Because the guy said you have to wait for the um the next part of this, right? You have to wait because there's one. Uh, there's number two. We know where number three and four is. There's one here, and there's one. Where was the other one? I'm sure I found the other one somewhere. Oh, here, I think. Right, I think the other one's, like, here. But we can't we can't use them. So I'm guessing we just we literally just have to wait. Um, okay. All right. Well, I mean, in that case, I think we just head here, and then we... Uh... Oh, wait, there's the... There's the sit-up quest with jewels, but we could come back to that as well, right? I think we did enough... Um... I think we've done enough stuff by now, so let's let's come back to the uh, let's come back to Jules later. I don't think he's going anywhere. But I bet you any money, there's like a trophy that you could get for for um, getting him, like for beating him. To put in uh, to put in Johnny's in seaside in. So I think it's definitely going to be worth doing. Um, I am going the wrong way. Do a U-turn. Do a U-turn now. Do it. <laughs> okay. Oops. See, here we still get Manifestation of Planet's Blessing. Um, but we don't get... Um, but we don't get... Planet Splendor. 
So maybe in this next zone we start finding some. I hope. Ooh, look at this place. Is that a town? Looks like it. That's not a chocobo stop. No, okay. Half the time, when I'm in the buggy... Angaga's I... just past these shallows. Angaga? Oh, 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 okay. Sorry. <laughs> I thought it was gonna. I thought it was gonna continue saying something, but it didn't. Um, I don't know what I was gonna say now. Oh yeah, half the time when I run over stuff in the buggy, I don't even. I don't even see it. Just it just tells me I ran over it. Don't know why, unless it's going too quick. I'm not sure. So it looks like we have this little area here, which isn't the story, I guess. I saw those, by the way. That's why I drove over them. Oh. Oh, you cannot proceed any further by buggy. Really? All right. I wonder why not. I want these, uh... These... Unable to obtain. Oh. Hey, up ahead. That our jungle? Indeed it is. Hold on, little Miss Carsick. We're almost there. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> Poor Yuffie. Hey, I didn't want to. Ow. Oh, I didn't want to do this. Uh oh. Think I'm gonna hurl. Bit overgrown for the poor old buggy. We'll need to carry on on foot. Oh, I meant to say, there's a village up this way. Fancy popping in? The reactor's not going anywhere, and I bet we could all do with a wee cat nap, eh? <laughs> with a wee cat nap. Sure. Love it. Uh -huh. Cloud, you okay? I just. I feel like I've been here before. Uh-oh. That's not good. Is this the, the town, or... Summon entity... Who's that? Ku Kujata? Who, who is that? Wait, what? I've never heard of that one before. Have I? I don't... I don't feel like I have. Kujata, what is, what is what is that? Now there was also a little, a lot of those little town uh, over there, right? Or am I just imagining that? I'm sure when I looked over the water, I saw something over here. Or was it that thing? No, no, it wasn't that. It wasn't that. Yeah, yeah, it says it's a vendor here. Uh, an items vendor here. Oh, yeah, here it is. Whoa. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Oh, did I just obtain a planet splendor then? Did I, is that what I just saw? Um, and the place looks a little bit deserted. I wonder if I'm missing something like a quest or something to kind of kickstart this place up. Gongaga Port. Hmm. 
Well, the items vendor's right there, so... Got nothing but the best here. Crocodile bracelets. Actually, actually not bad. It's actually better for Tifa. Um, more magic resist, but less physical resist for Aerith. It's it's better all round for Cloud, and it has one extra material slot. I'm going to grab this for Cloud. And maybe grab this for Aerith. Because those are kind of big. I like those. MP up. You know what? I will have one of those, actually. No. Innovation, I don't care. No. Fortification, no. Um... I still think subversion material would be kind of nice to use, but is it is it really going to work? Breach and dispel. Wait. Resistance is instant death. No breach or dispel. Don't kill you. Like there's no stop. Do I have stop? I don't think we do have stop, right? Hmm. Okay. No, that's fine. I knew you had a keen eye. Let's do some quick item shuffling. Uh, cloud. Nope. This one. Now, which one? Was it Crocodile for Cloud? Yes. Ah, oh, look, he's got an extra slot. Uh, what am I going to put in it? Um, I didn't think about that. Didn't think about that one, did I? Uh, oh, we could give him barrier, right? I don't think anybody has barrier yet, do they? So we could give him barrier back. So he could start putting barrier on people again. So he, could, he can raise and re-erase. He can also put barrier on. And that's the only thing he uses for MP. The rest is all just getting him to do his physical attacks. We just kind of made him a provoker and a tanker kind of thing. Sort of, you know, just get him doing that. Nothing for Tifa. And then Aerith. Uh, it was the outlaw ban bangle, I think, right? Yeah, more defense, more magic resist, or magic defense, and an extra slot, which is very nice. And we don't lose the link, which is great. Uh, so what does she have? She has steel. Oh, yeah, that's right. She had vitality before, right? Let's put vitality back on here. I thought vitality was a purple one. Is it not? There is vitality. Oh, right there. Good. So, MP up. Poison empowerment. Yeah, so she can use bravery and faith. Do I need this? I don't use it. You know? And the only person I use it on is Tifa, and she uses the weapon skill anyway, the um, the, the enemy skill. So, I don't think she needs it. What, what I might do is, let's, let's try this. In favor of keeping her as a damage dealer, more specifically, let's give her um where is it now? Okay, so we could use I mean we can actually add both. I mean there's gravity, so we could give her gravity, which I think is pretty nice. Uh, we could give her binding, which is sleep silence and berserk, which again I think is kind of nice. Um, and as a matter of fact, that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to give her that. And... Where's it? Where's it gone? I thought it was a green one. Is it not a green one? Oh, yeah, of course. Time is there. Stop. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, where's it gone? 
And so binding. Binding, we can use sleep, silence, and berserk. Berserk is kind of nice, but um, sleep might be pretty good too. Because I don't think of anything else to give her um, at this point. Because what else would I give her? You know? Strength up, vitality up, MP up would be nice. I mean, it gives, only gives plus five, though. I mean, it's not huge. Better than nothing, but it's still not massive. I think what we're probably going to do here is going to give her... Um, we're going to try it anyway with um, uh, bind. No, sleep. Yeah, bi binding material. I was right with binding material. We're going to give her binding material. We're going to keep her very, very offensive and very kind of debuff with um, poison and uh, binding. And then gravity should be quite nice, actually. I think gravity is quite strong. Ooh, look at this. Fire and ice material is nearly at um, level two. That's huge. Huge. And lightning and wind material is coming along nicely, too. It's uh, almost rank two. Magnify is doing well. 210 out of 500. That's good to know. Oh, look. We are one. We are like, what, 15 XP? Sorry, 15 AP away from uh, um, the Arga spell here for poison. That's cool. I like that. Okay, excellent. I think I think then we are done. I don't think there's anything else we can upgrade at the moment. I think all the weapons we have are fine. Um, Tifa and Aerith need to catch up. I don't know what's going on, but they both need to get to... I mean, look at Clouds flying ahead. Why, why is Cloud so far ahead with his weapon skills? I don't get it. His weapon level is six. Oh, is that to do with the books that I found? I think that's to do with the books I found, right? Yeah, it could be. Okay, all right. Cool, I think this is a good space we can... Uh... So where are we actually going here? Oh, so we're literally in the next zone. Gon yeah, Gongaga region. Oh, okay, okay. So wait, hang on a second. Then it feels like I've missed something here for sure. Hmm. But what? What would I have missed? Uh, hmm. You might have to go back and have a look. Um, but I don't know where I would start looking. I'll think about it. I might go into this zone anyway, it's just we get a change of pace for a bit and we do this, do a little bit of this. Uh, we need to go back to that zone anyway because I want to do, um, what's it called? The sit-up quest with jewels. Oh. Alright, it's, uh... What the... What are these things? You can do it. My turn. Let's do it right. Fright flower. What's that? Amphidex. Okay. Keep it together. Sure. Oh, he put a region on himself. Clever. I'm sorry, what? What the? What just happened? Did that thing just grow? <laughs> what is this? Okay. It's kind of funny. It literally sprouted into a bigger plant. Oh, hello. Where's your little, where's your little uh, station? I'm sure we can fix that for you.
I have no idea if this is the right way. I'm just kind of wandering into the uh, into the woods. <laughs> it is the right way. Okay. I mean, what are we supposed to be driving in here? The vehicle? Uh, I don't think so, right? Oh, I don't get the option to summon the buggy, so I'm guessing not. Oop. Oh, uh oh. There we go. So, that's the scenario. Okay. Now, is that the way the city was that he said down here? Or, um... Yeah, it looks like it might be there, looking at the map. Okay, alright. I do see there's a, uh, a tower up here, though. Oregano. O or oregano. Ah, some more. Awesome. Okay, so what do we have here? Hey, it's a it's a fiend intel. That's kind of funny. Stagger, don't turn into a frog. Turn me into a frog. <laughs> Toad frog shoe. <laughs> I like my then. <laughs> the little, uh. Don't let you get turned into a frog, anybody. I swear. Got that one. Don't you turn me into a frog. Oh, there it is. Don't you do it. I don't know wish to be a frog. Oh, that was a little close. Oh no, it didn't stagger them. Yeah, all right, all right. I completely didn't realize we hadn't even staggered one of them, but we'd managed to. I was so focused on trying not to turn to a frog, I forgot to stagger the enemy. <laughs> All right, we'll do it again. But this time we don't have to focus on much else. We just have to stagger one of these little critters, right? <laughs> I like that. I like the way she says romantic at the end there, it's great. These guys are obsessed with turning me into a frog. Uh oh. There it is. Get some bouncing going. You okay? Wow. What a fight! You'll see. Ooh, that was close, Aerith. This one's for you. Needs more magic. Okay. Wow. 
Frog, don't do it. Alrighty, there it is. Nice. Oh, that one wasn't too bad. Some toads turning you into toads. I think I could handle it. I can't. It's a very sturdy box. Ah, Planet Splendor. Perfect. That's exactly what I've been looking for. Very nice. Very nice. Actually. Oops. Item Transmuter. Oh, look at all the goodies. Oh, yes. Look at this. Well, I need this, though. So, I've got two pines. I need ten total. Oh, yes. Finally. Exactly what we're looking for. Can we uh, can we scale up this? We can. Come on, cloud hop to it. Chop 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 faster faster. Ah, uh, yep. Nice. I wonder what chocobo we get for this um this area. I'm guessing we get a chocobo. We may not, to be fair. Okay, I'm going the right way. Hey, hey. What is it? If you're serious about wanting to be our new best friend, how about giving us some insider info? Well, it is dirty laundry, you're after. <laughs> <laughs> I have heard whispers about the new president's abilities. You wouldn't believe how much he spends on those fancy suits. Oh. Why did I even ask? <laughs> Can we jump this? Nope, that's a negative. We can do this though. What do we have here? Oh, some toads, huh? Go on. Can you take over for me? Tell you that soothing breeze is just—it's actually really, really powerful. If you can, if you can um, get her in a position, T her into a position where she can cast that. Um, it does a lot of health. I wonder if you could um, somehow make it so she can't get interrupted while she's casting it, and maybe make her like extra defensive or something. That'd be really cool. Because you could just stack that up and then cast it and just sit there and just constantly heal. That'd be great. Right, let's see what we got. So we have. Oh wow, this is a big zone too. Look at this. Jeez. Cloud. There are pockets within the Gungaga region that we still cannot scan, despite being within range of a tower. If anyone is capable of evading detection by Republic Tech, it must be Shinra. Yes. Furthermore, as we have yet to detect a proto-relic, I suspect these issues may be related in some manner. I've marked the previously mentioned pockets on your map. And remember, 
When surveying, safety first. So that's the um, that's the proto relic quest for this area. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad at least that the oh my um, that the proto relic quests are kind of unique. Um, you know, compared to like basically all the other quests that just aren't. Because when I mean, you do a lot of the same things, right? There's a lot of repetitive stuff. So you do the scanning, the finding. So it's kind of nice that the um, yeah. the proto relics are a little bit more unique. I like that. Just try not to give me Aerith in a time trial. <laughs> uh, thing. Uh, Cloud, could you not get up? Really? You're going to struggle here? Oh, there we go. Well, it's juicy stuff. Where where are we going here? Guilty. Who are you kidding? You were literally built by the company. Probably stuffed you full of teeny tiny listening devices. Teeny tiny? The late president believed that bigger was always better. Small went against his philosophy. Doing well, huh? Some nine to five nobody you are. Sure your name ain't Champ? Pretty sure. Hi. Like one of Jack. Oh yeah. So we got the. Ooh, I don't think I want to go that way, do I? This way looks a bit safer. There we go. So, who, what is this summon? Who is this? Kujata. Yeah, what, what is this? I don't think I've ever seen this before, have I? What is that? It's like a giant... Looks like a giant bull, maybe. Um, um, okay, anyway. Triangle square X. Oh, no. Triangle square X. Oh, it's not too bad. Nailed it. Yeah, it looks like some kind of bull or... Um, something of that, that nature. I don't, why don't I recall that summon? Hmm. Analysis complete. I managed to extract the necessary data from the crystal. This should allow me to strengthen your materia. Hmm, okay. Are you telling me they put this summon in and not, not my, uh, not my Garuda? A little upset, I'm not going to lie. I wonder if we have Ramu. Ramu's really cool too. I don't think Ramu's in this either. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just kind of wandering here. Ew, what is this thing? Does not look pleasant. Chimera Mimic. You can do it. Really? It's on you. Okay, let's go. Best. Okay. Hitting them with what was that? Hitting them with powerful offensive abilities will pressure them. Interesting. Oh, 
Didn't exactly survive very long, so, you know. That'll do. Now, where's the... I'm kind of interested in coming for this. Ooh, I want to kind of swim up here. Can I? I can. Mainly just for that stuff. Yes, we're, we're, uh, we're heading your way now. Wait, where did he go? I didn't see where he flew off to. Just taking a detour to grab this stuff, though. There we go. <laughs> where is it? Where's your little ho house? Is it down here? Aha, it must be down here. Yep. Can tell by all the materials uh, <laughs> that appear through the wall. Tons of them. Yes. Give me all of the good stuff. I got some more pines. Great. I failed. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Okay. So we don't have much else to go on right now, except if we um, head off to do the main story. Ooh, what's this? This wee hut. <laughs> Talk about rustic. Then again, <laughs> a life without a uh, It's not without its charm. What the hell is it? that? In fact, this could be a whole new Ooh, string to the Shinra it. Resort's bow. Eh? The rural getaway. Cast off modernity and embrace eternity. Not making any progress at all. Go for it. Could be a nice little earner. Surely, this isn't your very best. Now, who is this here? The hell with it. Back to square one. Huh? Who are you? Whatever, I don't have time to... <sighs> that arm. That magnificent arm. Uh. It is a weapon. But how does it work? A universal adapter, allowing you to switch out weapons at will. But look at all these scratches. Wait, have you been going around punching things with your attachments? <laughs> uh, maybe. Uh, occasionally. <laughs> yeah. Doing so ought to have given you multiple bone fractures. But this unique cylinder provides unparalleled shock absorption, allowing for high impact performance. Who was the genius that built this? <sighs> An old friend, I guess. Don't know where he's at now, though. Uh, wait right there! <laughs> Eureka! The... <laughs> Sorry, got carried away. My name's Izo. I've been trying to create the ultimate weapon, but my attempts have all failed miserably. But thanks to you, I finally made a breakthrough. I must harness the inspiration while I can. Please, help me build it. Gather the materials I need. Uh, so about Barrett's arm. Though it seems crude at a glance, look close. 
The craftsmanship is remarkable. Whoever made it must have been a specialist in a completely different field. No mere weaponsmith would have been half as clever. The ultimate weapon? Indeed. I've made it my life's work. Frustrating though it's been. How to conceive a weapon I lack the vocabulary to describe. Okay, leave it to us. Well, if all you need is some material, sure. Why not? Just leave it to us. Wonderful. Thank you. I believe I left a map in my storage shed that you can use to find what I need. Grab that before you head out, and you shouldn't have any trouble. Okay. Don't forget about that materials map I left in my... If you want to help me out, yeah, 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 I know. you need to know where to look. I want your goods. That's what I want. Gotta say, never seen someone so interested in my arm. Most folks try their best to look the other way. He's a weird one. <laughs> That's putting it mildly. It's true enough, though. I realize too how soft I've got it. Cause in the old days, I would have said no touch him and decked his ass. In the old days? <laughs> if it ain't the yeah. present, it's the past, son. He's not wrong. That is, that's a that's a true statement. Oh, I found one of the stuff right here. Oh, that was easy. Oh, this is the map. <laughs> Must okay. Be the map Ezo was talking about. <laughs> Never mind. Don't know what else it'd be. Well, got got ahead of myself. You ready? All right. View the notes. One is the shed. This one right here. And it says, like, what, up here? I'm not suggesting it's, like, right up there. Ooh, maybe here? Ah. Uh. So that was the shed right down there. And it said this way, that's the tree. Right? And it definitely says this way. Uh huh. Hmm. Oh. Okay. All right. I get it. I know what I'm doing wrong. It says five notes. I thought I would, like, collect the notes maybe as I went along, but I have them already. All right, so then that's number one. Good. So number two. Aha. This makes a lot more sense. Okay, so we've got to go around the big rock here. And I go left at the... the that thing. Got it. And then right there with that big hanging tree thing. Vine tree, whatever that is. We go up, huh? Oh, I see a Chocobo station there.
That says circle. Up. Uh, there and there. Uh huh. Now that's it. That's all the notes I have. Is it this way? <laughs> See the chocobo though. Hey. Yeah, don't worry, I'll fix it for you. There you go. <laughs> Come here, let me give you a head shake. <laughs> it just grabs it by the cheeks. It just kind of shakes its head side to side. It seems to like it though, so it's fine. That was really difficult. Do I need a chocobo for this quest? I hope not. Because I'd be kind of stuck if I did. Do I need to backtrack? Uh, maybe? I don't know. Huh. No, because, like... Is it this blue stuff? No. Hmm. Unless... Unless I missed something here. Is... Is this the place we're looking for? Oh. What? Oh, great. What's this thing? Look. It brought friends, apparently. Can you take over for me? Don't overdo it. Watch yourself. Here goes. Okay, so they're all hey. afraid of an arrow. Together? Every year is still Deal doing okay, uh -oh. right? Good to go. Go on it. Go on. Bring it. I've got you covered. Big heels. I, I came I came here already. <laughs> I am on fire today. I've been pretty rough on you, I know. But you've always come through for me. Thanks, buddy. Don't know where I'd be without you. That was weird. I, I literally came here. And then went up there. And it didn't do anything. And then when I... 
when I came down, it was like, oh, yep, there you go. Anyway, whatever. We can do it now. It, I, I had a feeling it was that blue stuff. We just couldn't get hold of it yet. And maybe I, maybe I didn't go far enough to the tree. So it didn't trigger. I don't know. Oh, some right there. Was it a Draconite? Oh. Cool. Oh, are we going to get like a weapon for Barrett made out of this stuff? Oh, that would be cool. Uh, here we go. Last piece. Lovely. Hold up. Is that everything? It is. <laughs> Let's head back and check in with Isa. So smithery. I got you all, buddy. Here you go. Oh, did you find everything? Inquire about the materials. That map will lead you straight to where you can find my materials. Oh. oh. Not quite what I wanted. I wanted to talk about what the ore was. Anyway, hand over the, the ore. Excellent. It's all here. Thanks. If you're not in a rush, wait here while I finish up. <laughs> I get that it's your profession, but do you actually enjoy this? Making weapons? Of course I enjoy it. That's why I chose this job. Besides, it's the wielder who dictates the true value of a tool. Weapons, too. Aye, that's especially true for weapons. Oh, we do as well. Look at this. Yes, yes. I've done it. Feast your eyes on my masterpiece. My gift to you. I insist. I may not be the gentlest owner, you know. <laughs> Use her as you like. The wielder dictates the value of the tool, remember? And by association, the value of the maker. Therefore, what good I put out into the world depends on who I entrust with my weapons. That's how I choose to see my part in it all. Huh. Hell of a lot of pressure to put on some guy you just met, don't you think? The adapter that your friend made. It's a gift in more ways than you know. He was thinking of your future, of what you might do after the dust settles. Today, you may have no choice but to wield a weapon. But tomorrow? Years from now? Think about it if you haven't. The man who fashioned your adapter is an inspiration in his own right. And that's no lie. <laughs> Maybe Ooh. one day you'll ask me to Baffin turn your arm Baffin into a rifle? egg beater. I'll make it so you can whip up a cake to serve a hundred. <laughs> Weird time to be joking around, man. <laughs> Not joking in the least. That's the price for my masterpiece. You owe me a cake fit for a king. So don't you go dying on me. You hear? Yeah. Just put that in my pocket. No problem. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Talk about a weirdo. Friendly, though. True. A weirdo with the heart of gold. I'm not gonna lie. I was... Kinda hoping that it would have had a bit more of a blue tinge to it, considering it, you know, considering where it came from, what or it came from. Consume all ATB charges to deliver a close range attack and send enemies flying. Oh, interesting. I mean, it's great for it's great for magic, 
73 magic attack. Oof. It's very, it's very nice. It's cool, though. Cool. Nice. I got a lot of XP and stuff for that. Wow. Um, all right. I mean, at this point in time, I haven't really got much else to go on except kind of just keep going this way, I guess. I need, like, another, um, tower. That's what I need. It's a nice zone, though. It's very pretty. Pretty. Wow, look how clear the water is here, too. Can I make the thing now? Can I? Can I make the thing now? <gasps> I can make the thing now. Look at this. This is this is huge. Boom. I can actually make both. That's kind of cool. Look at this. Nice. Now she has an extra material slot. Lovely. Oh, look, I've got one more to go for this. And it increases magic by 5%. I wonder what uh, I wonder what the last ability is that we'll get. I hope it's better than... Uh, I hope it's more useful than self-destruct, for sure. What do we have on her? Time material, HP, st HP stagger, that's fine. HP up, enemy skill material, prayer, and healing. Um, okay. What else would we want for her, do you think? Ooh, do I have cleansing on her? I actually, I actually don't, but... Um, how good do you think? How, how how much do you think it is? Well, how much do you think it's worth? We got strength, we got vitality, we got MP, we got HP, give her more health. Now we could use this. Doubles the ATP when activated. It cannot be used continuously. We could try that. Uh, that's HP absorption. Um, we have a linked materia, but don't know if we need. I don't know if we need it. I don't know if we need it equipped or anything. Need to be boost material would be nice, but I don't think it's necessary that she needs it. But then again, it's just a free boost. We could just do with like MP, right, or strength or vitality. Maybe MP up for now. We could link. Thinking about it, we could link healing with something, right? Kind of magnify because uh, Aerith is using magnify. We could, oh, we don't need to level boost either, do we? Because it's max, yeah. So actually, the only thing that we would want to use is the one that Aerith has, the the bounce, right, to make the heal um, AoE, essentially. But um, I think only... I think we only have one Magnify. Yeah. And Aerith is using it for her spells. Yeah. Alright. That's fine. Leave it like that for now, anyway. Um, 
Great. Can we upgrade it? That's the thing. Don't think so? Don't think so. Okay, so that's gonna... If we get to a level 11, we get these two. Spirit-bound armlet is just looks nuts. I need what? How much XP do I need? 5 XP. Okay, let's make something small. Oh, we could just do this. Oh, we could do this. 100 XP. Damn. Screw it. There we go. So that'll be it for this episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.